If you do not own Cinema 4D, Adobe After Effects comes pre-bundled with a light version of Cinema 4D itself. To access it, you can simply right-click over here, and here you can simply click on New Maxion Cinema 4D File. Once I click on this, then it asks me where I want to save my file. In my case, I'm just going to save it in a desktop, and I'm going to press Save. So once I do that, it opens up the light version of Cinema 4D, which comes pre-bundled with the After Effects, as you can see. So it is loading up the Cinema 4D file, and let's wait for a while. And there you go. So you do not need separate type of Cinema 4D uh, actually installed over here. So you got, you do not have the full version. This is actually light, as you can see. So this is Cinema 4D Lite RCR19. So you can do some modeling right over here. As you can see, there are some modeling tools. And if you do not know how to use Cinema 4D, you can take a look at my Cinema 4D playlist to learn the basics of it. So you can see that this, uh, these are modeling options right here. There's some spline options right here, which you find in full version as well. And some loading features over here as well. And you can see that it is cut down version as you can see right here. So there's Wooly instance and so forth. There's some deformers, but you do not have access to all of them. There's some float, sky, and everything else, but you do not have the full feature right here. So you got some camera options over here as well and some light options. So you can also go into the render settings as you can see. So you have the standard render right here. You got the Opal, OpenGL and hardware render. You even have the multipass settings if you want to utilize them. So all of them are here. So there are basic modeling features over here as well as you can see. And you have the MoGraph pipeline and everything else, but not much for the character animation if you are into that. So basically it gives you the overall feature of a motion graphics right here. So you can actually create uh, some uh, spear let's say you can work around with some spear right here uh, uh, you can actually like convert into it into a polygon and work around with the points and everything else over here so you can go over here and work around with the points just like that uh, to model something out it's like that so that's like a full version of cinema 4d so basically you get um, um, most of the motion graphics features right here. You got the material options over here, here as well as in the full feature. The only downside is the character animation and some of the uh, extra features right there. So you do not need to fully own or buy Cinema 4D if you already have After Effects and simply use this. And once I actually save this out, so it actually gets updated as a file in After Effects itself. So you, you see that Cinema 4D file is here as you can see and it can be loaded right over here as you can see I can just drag it on to a new composition and change uh, the render to a final right there and that is how everything works out so that is how you can open up default cinema 4d which is built in right on to after effects so if you guys learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe